So welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do a review on this new Corona 18 inch pruning saw. Uh, I just bought about two weeks ago. I took it camping last week, so I've got to use it already once. Um, and uh, very, very high quality saw. I'm really impressed. Um, I was looking at the silkies and like some of the other folding saws. They just seemed overpriced and undersized. Um, I wanted something that was <clears throat> good enough to do some pretty serious firewood processing when I go camping. Um, and it's 18 inches, but it sure seems larger than that. Um, it's got the nice handle. Um, my hands are almost 10 inches, about nine and three quarters. And they fit pretty snug in there. Definitely not fit in two hands. So I mean, with a glove, it'd probably still fit in there real tight. Um, a little awkward when you get down low to the ground, but for what I'm using it for, bushcraft, um, firewood processing, stuff like that, it seems to work really well. The teeth on it, um, are really large so I noticed on like the smaller harder branches it was kind of skipping a little bit um, but it seems to work great so we're gonna give it a little try here and review four and a half or the old hard in the middle went right through it though so i'd highly recommend it it's much stronger when i was using it camping last week getting two hands on it like this on the big logs it was just eating right through them so this is a bull pine tree i took down yesterday i'm doing some fire reduction work on this property um and this one had the whole top eaten off it by a porcupine, so it was all dead and sick. <clears throat> I just took it out. But it's pretty good size. It's over eight inches, probably. And we're gonna see just how fast this corona will go through it. Butter. I mean, that's green pine, but that's an eight inch cut. I'll have to time it when I edit the video, but you know, excellent saw. I would highly recommend it if you're, you know, doing like firewood processing or camping. Um, 
you're cutting a lot of small hardwood, then probably get something else because of the size of these teeth. I mean, look at those. They're like quarter inch or more. But um, yeah, best uh, pole saw like this I've ever had for sure by a mile. So now I'm gonna see how it cuts in an old petrified stump, probably a hundred year old stump. I think this property hasn't burnt in probably a hundred years. Um, some of the trees around here are four foot thick and they don't have any burnt marks on them. <clears throat> There's a lot of these burnt stumps. So we're gonna see how it does on some of this old hard burnt wood. on the inside that stump was moving around so much it was pinching on my saw a little bit but you know that's very very hard petrified like fatwood if you're trying to start a fire out in the woods and you see one of these stumps go straight for it bust off a piece with your axe or your saw or whatever and that's how you get your fire started that stuff is better than fatwood really sound of that it's hard like stone a little rotten in the center but cuts right through it I would highly highly recommend this saw absolutely excellent it makes firewood processing for camping like last week when I was using it it's an absolute breeze went right through I had plenty of firewood hardly no effort